Ivanka Trump's close bond with her father is well documented. But what isn't as widely known is that she's also very close to her mother, Ivana Trump. So what's the real story behind these two controversial figures? Here are some details about the relationship between Ivana and Ivanka Trump. Obviously, Ivanka Trump looks quite a bit like her mother, but their physical similarities are far from the only thing they have in common. They even share a name. While you might assume that Ivanka's name was merely inspired by her mother's, her legal name is actually Ivana, just like her mom. Ivanka, it turns out, is a nickname for Ivana. In a tweet, Ivanka explained, In Czech, Ivanka is the baby name for Ivana, like Bobby is to Robert. Ivana itself is also a variation of another name. It is a feminine version of the name Ivan, a Slavic name that can ultimately be traced back to the widespread name John. Interestingly, Ivanka isn't the only diminutive associated with Ivanka, and Ivanka could have also gone by the nicknames Eva or Ivka. Both during Ivana and Donald Trump's marriage and after they split up, most of the child-rearing was left to Ivana. In 2016, Ivana Trump said at the Lifetime Benefit that she had raised her children, Ivanka, Eric, and Donald Jr., single-handedly. While the Trump kids would later grow close to their father, Ivana claimed that, until they were 21, she was in charge. According to Ivana, her ex-husband wasn't interested in the children at all, until he could talk business with them. Ivana has pointed out that Donald took over from pretty much the moment the kids were old enough to drink. She said, I handed them over to him and said, here's the finished product, you can take them from here. Ivana repeated the claim in her book Raising Trump, in which she wrote that she had sole custody of the kids after the divorce and made all major decisions with regards to things like education and extracurricular activities. Ivanka Trump spent a lot of time traveling the world as a young girl. She wrote in her book, The Trump Card, Playing to Win and Work in Life, that her mom would often schedule a vacation on a whim, whisking her away to every corner of the world. Ivanka writes, My mother would get excited about some part of the world she'd never seen or experienced, and off we'd go. Ivanka called the experience of traveling so much with her mother outrageous and wonderful, saying that she enjoyed her special time alone with Ivana. In an interview with O, the Oprah magazine, Ivanka revealed that she even had a special souvenir collection from these mother-daughter trips. She explained that every time she and her mother traveled somewhere when she was little, she would pick flowers, dry them, cover them in resin, and then make paperweights out of them. While Ivanka Trump is clearly close to her mother, their relationship has been tested at times. Ivanka herself has even admitted that, at some points in her youth, she was quite the handful. And while she wasn't exactly a rebel, she did try Ivana's patience. Ivanka later told Marie Claire, I think my mom threatened to put me up for adoption a few times. By her own admission, Ivana was a stern disciplinarian, and she also made sure to teach Ivanka a sense of responsibility. She was made to pay her own phone bills as a teenager, for example, and Ivana wrote in Raising Trump that she kept all of her kids on a short leash. She recounted the time that a teenage Ivanka almost got a belly button piercing with her friends, but decided not to, having become afraid of how her parents would react. Ivana called this a good choice, saying that if her daughter had gotten any kind of piercing, a tattoo, or a shaved head, she, in her own words, would have killed her. Ivanka Trump has long been a key figure in the Trump family. Before her father embarked on his political career, she worked for the Trump Organization, and then later became one of his most trusted advisors when he made it to the White House. Ivanka has played a critical role in her father's endeavors, but her mom thinks that the role she has played in his work is larger than she typically gets credit for. In her book, Raising Trump, Ivana Trump wrote of just how big a role Ivanka played in her father's election to the highest office in the United States. According to Ivana, if it hadn't been for her daughter, Donald Trump may very well have lost the election. Ivana believes that voters were won over because of Ivanka, and that Ivanka helped endear her father to the public. She writes, Voters looked at her and thought, I like her. I trust her. She loves her father, so he can't be that bad. Ivana Trump is very supportive of her only daughter, and is optimistic about her future, too. Not only does Ivana credit Ivanka with helping her father win the presidency, but she also thinks that Ivanka Trump could end up in the Oval Office herself one day. She's smart as hell, she's beautiful, she's occurrent, and uh, how much more you can have? In Raising Trump, the proud mother writes that she thinks her daughter could one day be not only the first female president of the United States, but also the first Jewish president. While Ivana may believe her daughter's potential is limitless, 
She does worry about Ivanka. In an interview with Time magazine, she admitted that she worries her daughter has a little too much on her plate between working with her father and raising three children of her own. Then again, Ivana herself raised three children while also managing her career, so it seems like her daughter learned at least a thing or two about juggling family and work. As proud as Ivana Trump is of Ivanka, she wasn't exactly thrilled to see her daughter give up her career in fashion. While she may want Ivanka to end up in the White House one day, it seems that she doesn't necessarily want her to be a lifelong political operative. In a 2018 interview with Page Six, Ivanka said that she was worried her daughter was being overshadowed in the White House. She added that she would prefer her daughter to focus on her own growing empire, such as her numerous fashion lines. Ivanka told the outlet that she'd like to see her daughter move back to New York, as she believes that politics is a very dirty business. Interestingly enough, Ivana herself gave up the opportunity to play a prominent role in the Trump presidency. When her ex-husband offered her the chance to be the ambassador to the Czech Republic, she turned him down. As she told CBS Sunday Morning, she was simply enjoying her freedom and traveling too much to take on the responsibility. She said, I have a perfect life. Ivanka Trump is well known for her keen sense of style, and she has frequently spoken about how it was inspired by her mother. Ivanka has even said that watching her mother get ready for events is her favorite childhood memory, and recalls sitting on the bathroom floor in her pajamas watching her mother applying makeup at her vanity. In Raising Trump, Ivana wrote about brushing and braiding Ivanka's hair when she was little, something her own mother did for her. She said that she would pull Ivanka's hair back with ribbons and bows for special occasions, writing, I loved indulging her in the girly things we both love so much. Even as an adult, Ivanka has been seen taking style cues from her mom, and she's been known to borrow clothes from her mom's lavish wardrobe. Ivanka Trump also takes after her mother in another very specific way. Both are accomplished skiers. Ivana began skiing competitively at the tender age of six. By the time she was 12, she was getting serious about the sport and entered a national training program. Ivana skied competitively throughout her teen years and has claimed to have been an alternate for the Czechoslovakian ski team during the 1972 Olympics. Before embarking on a modeling career, Ivana also worked as a ski instructor in Canada. Ivana made sure that her children, including Ivanka, also learned how to ski. She wrote in Raising Trump that the kids took ski lessons and that she used skiing to cultivate their sibling rivalry on ski trips by setting challenges for them. These challenges included seeing who could get to the gondola first or who could make the sharpest turns. Even though Ivanka was primarily raised by her mother, she claims that she is close to both her mother and her father. And while divorce can be hard on children, especially when one parent has sole custody, Ivanka said that her parents splitting up actually helped her bond with both of them. The divorce was a brutal one, but Ivanka told People magazine that her parents did a remarkable job protecting the children from the media frenzy that followed. She explained that, for a while, the children weren't allowed to watch television without a parent, and newspapers were also kept out of the house. Ivanka said that the experience made her closer with both parents, explaining that she was at the age where you do take your parents for granted, and that she stopped doing so after they split up. Ivanka Trump writes in Raising Trump that it was clear from the beginning that Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner truly cared for each other. There was just one problem, though. Kushner was Jewish, while Ivanka was raised Catholic. The religious differences led to them breaking up for a year, as Kushner's family wouldn't let Ivanka marry him. Ivanka eventually converted to Judaism to marry Kushner, with her mother's full support. Ivana apparently told her daughter that she doesn't care about religion, encouraging her to convert if she truly loved Kushner. Ivana writes that her daughter and Kushner are incredibly happy together, which is all that really matters to her. However, while she is supportive of her daughter's religion, Ivana has admitted that she's not convinced about some of the orthodox customs Ivanka and the Kushners follow. Then again, according to her, if Ivanka is willing to give up lobster and bacon for Kushner, then she really must love him. Not only does Ivana Trump have a good relationship with her daughter, but she's also close to her grandchildren. Ivanka wrote in her book, Women Who Work, that her kids call Ivana Glamma, and that her mother gives her advice on how to raise her kids. One tip? To keep your kids out of trouble, keep them busy. In an appearance on Oprah, Where Are They Now?, Ivana said that she loves being a grandmother. After raising three children on her own, having grandchildren is quite the liberating experience. Ivana said that she loves being able to just have fun with her grandchildren without the pressure of actually having to raise them. Instead, they just play together, before she sends them back home to their parents. Don't need to change the diapers, been there, done that, so it works perfectly. 
Ivanka Trump has worked in several fields and balances her busy career with her family life. While having it all may often seem like an unattainable aspiration, Ivanka Trump credits her mother with showing her how to achieve all of her dreams. She wrote in Women Who Work that, as a child, she was inspired by watching Ivana at work as she oversaw the renovation of the Plaza Hotel. Ivanka described her mother as being unapologetically feminine in a male industry, saying that Ivana's example first embodied and defined what it means to be a multidimensional woman. Ivanka also writes that, She taught me to define success on my own terms, to set my own priorities, and to be true to my values. Ivana set quite the example for her daughter, and she made having it all seem effortless. It wasn't until Ivanka had her own family and career, of course, that she realized balancing everything isn't as easy as her mother had made it look. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite hot topics are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!